Marathi literature is the body of literature of Marathi, an Indo-Aryan language spoken mainly in the Indian state of Maharashtra and written in the Devanagari script. History Yadav period is significant in the history of Maharashtra. Marathi literature is the oldest of the Indo-Aryan literatures, dating to about 1000 CE. In the 13th century, two Brahmanical sects arose, the Mahanubhava and the Varakari Panth, that both shaped Marathi literature significantly. The latter sect was perhaps the more productive, for it became associated with bhakti movements, particularly with the popular cult of Vithoba at Pandharpur. It was out of this tradition that the great names of early Marathi literature came, Nyaneshvara, in the 13th century, Namdev, his younger contemporary, some of whose devotional songs are included in the Holy Book of the Sikhs, the Adi Granth, and the 16th century writer Eknath, whose best-known work is a Marathi version of the 11th book of the Bhagavata Purana. Among the Bhakti poets of Maharashtra, the most famous is Tukaram, who wrote in the 16th century. A unique contribution of Marathi is the tradition of Pavadas, heroic stories popular among a martial people. This tradition was particularly vital during the 17th century, when Shivaji, the great Maratha king, led his armies against the might of the Mughal emperor Aurangzeb. Yadava period Epigraphic evidence suggests that Marathi was a standard written language by the 12th century. However, the earliest records of actual literature in Marathi appear only in the late 13th century. The early Marathi literature emerged during the Sunna Yadava rule, because of which some scholars have theorized that it was produced with support from the Yadava rulers. The Yadavas did regard Marathi as a significant language for connecting with the general public, and Marathi replaced Kannada and Sanskrit as the dominant language of the inscriptions during the last half-century of the Yadava rule. However, there is no evidence that the Yadava royal court directly supported the production of Marathi literature with state funds. The early Marathi literature was mostly religious and philosophical in nature, and was composed by the saint poets belonging to Mahanubhava and Warkari sects. During the reign of the last three Yadava kings, a great deal of literature in verse and prose, on astrology, medicine, Puranas, Vedanta, kings and courtiers were created. Nalapakian, Rukmini Swayamvar and Shripati's Jyotishratnamala are a few examples. Bhaskarbhata Borakar of the Mahanubhava sect is the first known poet to have composed hymns in Marathi. Dnyaneshwar was the first Marathi literary figure who had wide readership and profound influence. His major works are Amruthanubhav and Bhavarth Deepika, popularly known as Dnyaneshwari. Bhavarth Deepika is a 9,000 couplets long commentary on the Bhagavad Gita. Namdev, the Bhakti saint and contemporary of Dnyaneshwar is the other significant literary figure from this era. Namdev composed religious songs in Marathi as well as Hindi. Some of his Hindi compositions are included in the Sikh holy book, the Guru Granth Sahib. Another early Marathi writer was Mukundaraja, who wrote Vivekasindhu and Paramamrita. Both the works deal with the Advaita philosophy. Some earlier scholars dated him to the 12th century, and considered Vivekasindhu as the first literary book in Marathi, dating it to 1188. However, most linguistic historians now date Mukundaraja to 14th century or later. The Vivekasindhu was likely written after Lilakarita and Dnyaneshwari. <laughs> Sultanate period There was relatively little activity in Marathi in the early days of the Bahmani Sultanate (1347–1527) and the Bijapur Sultanate (1527–1686). The Warkari saint poet Eknath (1533–1599), the main successor of Dnyaneshwar, was a major Marathi literary figure during this period. He made available an authentic, edited version of Dnyaneshwari, which had been forgotten after the Islamic invasion of Deccan. He also wrote several abhangs devotional poems, narratives and minor works that dealt with the Bhagavata Purana he wrote Eknathi Bhagwat, Bhavarth Ramayan, Rukmini Swayamwar Hastamalik, and Bharat. Dasopant was another minor but notable poet from this era. Mukteshwar (1574–1645), the grandson of Eknath, too, wrote several works in Marathi including a translation of the epic Mahabharata. 
Krista Purana, written by the Goa-based Christian missionary Thomas Stevens, was first published in 1616. It is written in a mix of Marathi and Konkani languages, and the first copy was printed in the Roman script, and tells the story of Jesus Christ. Maratha period The Marathas, the Marathi-speaking natives, formed their own kingdom in the 17th century. The development of the Marathi literature accelerated during this period. Although their leader, Shivaji, was formally crowned as the king in 1674, he had been the de facto ruler of a large area in western Maharashtra for some time. Tukaram and Samarth Ramdas, who were contemporaries of Shivaji, were the well-known poets of the early Maratha period. Tukaram was the most prominent Marathi Varkari spiritual poet identified with the Bhakti movement, and had a great influence on the later Maratha society. His contemporary, Samarth Ramdas composed Dasbode and Manash Slok in Marathi. In the 18th century, several well-known works like Yatharthadipika by Vaman Pandit, Naladamayanti Swayamvara by Raghunath Pandit, Pandava Pratap, Haravijay, Ramvijay, by Sridhar Pandit and Mahabharata translation by Moropant were produced. The historical section of the old Marathi literature contained the Bikars and the Katavas. Krishna Dayarnava and Sridhar were other leading poets during the Peshwa rule. Mahipati, the author who wrote the biographies of the Bhakti saints also belonged to this era. <laughs> <laughs> British period The British colonial period, also known as the modern period saw standardization of Marathi grammar through the efforts of the Christian missionary William Carey. Kerry's dictionary had fewer entries and Marathi words were in Devanagari script instead of the Modi script prevalent at that time. Kerry also translated the New and Old Testament of the Bible into Marathi in 1811 and 1820 respectively the most comprehensive Marathi English dictionaries was compiled by Captain James Thomas Molesworth and Major Thomas Candy in 1831. The book is still in print nearly two centuries after its publication. The colonial authorities also worked on standardizing Marathi under the leadership of Molesworth. They used Brahmins of Pune for this task and adopted the Sanskrit-dominated dialect spoken by this caste in the city as the standard dialect for Marathi. The Christian missionaries introduced the Western forms to the Marathi literature. Marathi at this time was efficiently aided by Marathi drama. Here, there also was a different genre called Sangat Natya or musicals. The first play was V.A. Bhavi's Sita Swayamvar in 1843 later Kurloskar 1843-285 and G.B. Deval 1854-19 L6 brought a romantic aroma and social content. But Krishnaji Prabhakar Kadilkar 1872-1948 with his band play Kichaka Vad 1910 set the trend of political playwriting. These were followed by stalwarts like Ram Ganesh Gudkari and Prahlad Keshav Atra. The modern poets like Kashavsuta, Balakavi, Govindagraj, and the poets of Ravi Kiran Mandal such as Madhav Julian wrote poetry which was influenced by the Romantic and Victorian English poetry. It was largely sentimental and lyrical. Prahlad Keshav Atra, the renowned satirist and a politician wrote a parody of this sort of poetry in his collection Janduchi Fool. Sain Guruji contributed to the children's literature in Marathi. His major works are Shyamchi Ai, A Stick and Goj Shvada. He translated and simplified many Western classics and published them in a book of stories titled Goj Goshti Sweet Stories. <laughs> Beginning of journalism On January 6, 1832, Balshastri Jamhekar of the Elphinstone College began Darpan, the first Marathi English fortnightly magazine. On 24 October 1841, Govind Vithal Kunte began Prabhakar. Kunte was the first professional Marathi journalist. Prabhakar eulogized Indian art and culture. Jnanadaya was begun in 1842 by Christian missionaries in western India. J. Nian Prakash was started on 12 February 1849 in Pune. It was edited by Krishnaraj Trimbak Ranada. It was a weekly till 1904, when it became a daily. It ceased publication in 1951. It was a prestigious journal and supported education and social reform. 
Hari Narayan Apte, a famous Marathi novelist served as its editor. Some of its contributors included Mahadev Govind Ranada and Gopal Krishna Gokhale. In the early years of Marathi journalism, most periodicals were concerned with spreading education and knowledge. These include Jagan Mitra from Ritnagira, Shubh Suchik from Sitara, Vartaman Dipika, Vartaman Sangra. In 1862, Indu Prakash was begun in Bombay, now Mumbai. It was a bilingual journal, edited by M. G. Renata. It criticized orthodoxy and was the mouthpiece of many social reforms. In 1877, Jyotiba Phool and Krishnarao Bhaskar began Deenbandhu, as part of the Dalit upliftment movement. Deenabandhu was the organ of the Satyashodak Samaj founded by Phool. On 4 January 1881, Bal Gangadhar Tilak began Kesari, along with Gopal Ganesh Agalkar. In 1887, Agalkar left to start Sajit Sudharik bilingual along with Gopal Krishna Gokhale. After Agarkar's death in 1895, it ceased publication. In 1889, K. Navalkar started the weekly Vardahar to highlight atrocities committed by Europeans. In 1890, Hari Narayan Apte began Karmanic as a family entertainment paper. It contained articles on science. Also in 1890, Anandrao Ramachandra Dharandar started Boot published every new and full moon day. It was the first Marathi paper to carry cartoons on political and social matters. It was very popular but ceased publication in 1904. Present times 1947. Vishnu Sakaram Khandakar S. Yayati won him the Jnanpith Award for 1975. He also wrote many other novels, short stories, essays etc. His major works are Don Dhruv Two Poles, Alka Meteorite, Kraunchava, Jalalela Mohar, Amruthval. Marathi drama flourished in the 1960s and 1970s, with literary figures like Vasant Kanatkar, Kusumagraj and Vijay Tendulkar. The major paradigm shift in Marathi literature sensibilities began in the 40s with the modernist poetry of B.S. Mardhakar. In the mid-50s, the little magazine movement gained momentum. It published writings which were non-conformist, radical and experimental. Dalit literary movement also gained strength due to the little magazine movement. This radical movement was influenced by the philosophy of Babasaheb Ambedkar and challenged the literary establishment which was largely middle class, urban, and upper caste people. The little magazine movement threw up many noted writers. Balchandra Nemade is a well-known novelist, critic and poet. Sharad Rain is a well-known child literary figure. The notable poets include Arun Kolatkar, Dilip Chitre, Namdeo Dasal, Vasant Abhaji Dahaki and Manohar Oak. Bao Padya, Vilas Sarang, Shyam Manohar, Shuhas Shervalkar, and Visharm Bedakar are well known fiction writers. Another major shift sensibility began in the 90s with the poems and criticism of Sridhar Tilv and the poetry of poets associated with Sashthav, Abhidanantar, and Shabadavath. In the post 90s, this new little magazine movement gained momentum, and poets like Sridhar Tilv, who stood against postmodernism and nativism, and poets like Manya Joshi, Hemant Devate, Sachin Kitkar, Mangesh Narayan Rao Kale, Salil Wagh, Mohan Borse, Nitin Kulkarni, Nitin Arun Kulkarni, Varjesh Solanki, Sandeep Deshpande, Vasant Gurur, who touched the new areas of postmodern life. The poetry collections brought out by Abhidanantar Prakashan, Time and Space, Popular Prakashan, Navta Prakashan and the regular issues of the magazine Abhidanantar and irregular issues of Sashthav, Shabdvath are taking Marathi poetry to the global standards. Another leading wave in contemporary Marathi poetry is the poetry of new Dalit wave poets like Arun Kale, Bujang Meshram and new Deshi wave poets like Praveen Bandekar, Srikant Deshmukh and Virdaval Parab. Marathi science fiction has a rich heritage and boasts of modern complex stories. The known Marathi science fiction authors are Dr. Jayant Narlikar, Dr. Balfin Ki, Subodh Javadekar, Niranjan Gaite, and Laxman Landa. Eth Over the last century or so, a number of producing encyclopedias have been produced in Marathi. These include Sridhar Venkatesh Kitkars Danyankash, Siddhishwar Shastri Chitraus Charitra Kash, Mahadev Shastri Joshis Bharati Sanskruta Kash, and Laxman Shastri Joshis Dharma Kash and Marathi Vishwakish. The Marathi theatre was complemented by Marathi films which did not enjoy a continuous success. 
starting with V. Shantaram and before him the pioneer Dadasaheb Phal. During the British period, Marathi cinema went on to influence contemporary Hindi cinema. Marathi language as spoken by people here was throughout influenced by drama and cinema along with contemporary literature. Dalit literature It was in 1958, that the term, ''Dalit literature'' was used for the first time, when the first conference of Maharashtra Dalit Sahitya Sangha Maharashtra Dalit Literature Society was held at Mumbai, a movement inspired by 19th-century social reformer, Jyotiba Phool and eminent Dalit leader, Dr. Bimrao Ambedkar, Babu Rao Bagal was a pioneer of Dalit writings in Marathi. His first collection of stories, Jevha Me Jot Chorali, Jevha Me Jata Kareli When I Concealed My Cast, published in 1963, created a stir in Marathi literature with its passionate depiction of a cruel society and thus brought in new momentum to Dalit literature in Marathi. Gradually, with other writers like Namdeo Dasal, who founded Dalit Panther, these Dalit writings paved way for the strengthening of Dalit movement. Notable Dalit authors writing in Marathi include Arun Campbell, Shantabai Campbell, Raja Dale, Namdev Dasal, Daya Pawar, Anabau Saith, Laxman Main, Laxman Gaikwad, Sharankumar Limbale, Bao Panchbai, Kisha Shantabai Kale, Narendra Jadav, Namdeo Vatkar, Ashok Vatkar, Balaram G. Campbell and Ermila Pawar. <laughs> Awards Four Marathi writers have been honored with the Jnanpith Award. Vishnu Sakaram Khandakar Vishnu Vaman Shirwadkar Kusumagraj Vinda Karandikar Balchandra Nemadavari Year, Sahitya Akademi gives the Sahitya Akademi Award to Marathi writers for their outstanding contribution to Marathi literature. See the list of Sahitya Akademi Award winners for Marathi. Topic. See also Geet Ramayan Marathi people Marathi Christians List of Marathi language authors Notes <laughs>